Well, welcome back to day two of the hog book. We're currently on the ferry across the Mersey. Uh, weather hasn't done us any favours. It's quite cloudy and overcast, but we'll do the best we can and bring you as much of Liverpool today as possible. And just for continuity consequences from filming, I am still wearing the same boxer shorts as I had on yesterday. It up, it certainly wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> now, I'm going to link with the Titanic. This building here on your left, the red and white stripy building, this used to be called Albion House and was once home to White Star, the shipping line. So, this building is where the Titanic was registered. Um, we're going to take a left, and on the top of it, on the side, there is a balcony, which is where they announced the disaster from as well. And if you look in the windows, you will see some Titanic models, because it's now a Titanic theme hotel called 30 Jane Street. Jane Street station next to it, on your left, is the oldest, deepest underground chain station in the world. And coming up on the right hand side is our infamous is. Queen Victoria Monument. 
Now keep looking around her middle and you'll notice the scepter she's holding in her right hand is in a very inappropriate place. So it looks like she's got an extra male body shape. That was actually on the site of the uh, castle as well, where the castle used to serve the middle point. So strength number three, did anybody make it? Did they pull around the ball and having the hands up? No, we're all good. So Liverpool Mall on the right is the largest the outdoor world. shopping centre yes. in Europe. It was opened in 2008 when we were the European Capital of Culture and it was funded by the Duke of Westminster who is one of the richest men in the country and he lives just across the river over in Chester. You've got Verdal's the Jewellers there on your left which is the oldest shop in the city. That dates back to 1798. Yes. Birdles is the type of jewellers that not only does it have security, most of the jewellery in the window does not have a price on it. So we all know what that means, don't we? Here we're going to see a Hard Day's Night Hotel, which is a Beatles themed hotel. You see the statues on the first floor? They're the people after they left the Beatles. But collectively, they're known as Together Again. You can be a together for the hotel. Just add to the pillow tile on the right, just look at this book here. This is my key street. My key street is where you find the cabin gear. The cabin gear is where the eaters spend 250 pounds. But it's not just famous for the Beatles. Loads of other big bands and artists played there over the years. And if you're wanting out my key street, you'll actually see a wall called the Wall of Fame, which has got a break with the name of every artist that played there between the late 50s and 1973. Plus a few more recent ones in there as well. On your left, this is the Thomas Hotel. If you look up, you'll see some coloured birds on the window ledge. That is an art installation called the Uninvited Guest. And it was only supposed to be temporary for Friday Week a few years ago now. But what they found is the coloured birds actually kept the real birds off from landing up there, so they kept it cool. Bit of a football quarter on the right here is the Shanky Hotel, named after the great Liverpool manager. Opposite on the left is the Dixie Dean Hotel, which is Everton Nothing Lane. And we do have show back in the 1930s, which is it. We do have a little joke, and I promise you it's the last of the footy then. We say they both do a nice afternoon tea. However, we don't recommend the Everton one because they don't have many cups in there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, no more footy jokes. Yeah. Stop on the floor for the museum quarter. Then there's a lady downstairs that needs this. You've got the Royal Museum at the bottom. That's got everything from dinosaurs, insects, Planetariums, aquariums, Egyptian mummies. It's all about this thing. Now, his proper name is the Liverpool Resurgent, but locally he's known as Dickie Ellis. <laughs> the Delphi Hotel on your left used in Peaky Blinders. There's been three hotels on that site since 1826. This particular one was built around 1912, 1914. And at the time, it was owned by White Star, the shipping line. So there's actually a room in there called the Sefton Suite, which is an almost replica of the smoking room on the Titanic, because it is the same designers that worked on the hotel and on the cruise ship.
Okay, it was a big one.